Hi and welcome to rewiredthemind.com. Uh, we talk about everything to do with wellness, well-being and therapy on this channel and today we have a very specific topic. It relates to binge eating disorder and in particular why people binge eat at night. If you have binge eating disorder and you find that the majority of your binge eating tends to happen in the evening, like my clients find, then you'll know that the hours sort of between 7pm and midnight are probably an issue for you. So why is this? Well, there are lots of reasons why this can happen. And no, it hasn't got stuff to do with strange body rhythms or the dark, but it does have everything to do with emotions, boredom, loneliness, and a whole lot more. And on this channel today, we're gonna to hopefully help you understand what these triggers are so that you can help change patterns of behavior that are no longer helpful to you. Now, first of all, before we go into each of those triggers that could be causing your problem, I want to talk a little bit about night eating syndrome. And in particular to understand that we aren't discussing that particular issue. There are differences between binge eating disorder and night eating syndrome. When a person has night eating syndrome, they do things differently to binge eaters. In particular, they're likely to eat more than 25% of their calories in the evening. And they're also likely to suffer from insomnia and wake in the night and use food in the mistaken belief that it will help them to sleep again. We have got articles on our website, rewiredthemind.com, if you want to find more about that uh, issue. But binge eating disorder involves eating a significant amount of food in one sitting. That doesn't have to be at night and it does not require you to have an issue with insomnia for it to take place. So let's move on to binge eating itself and this nighttime eating that tends to be the worst time for binges. Well, one of the biggest reasons why you may be binge eating at night is the good old favorite of ours, dieting. This is one of the biggest causes of your problem. When you restrict your calories, when you're not getting enough to eat, it causes an issue. So many binge eaters desperately think that they need to lose weight and in order for them to achieve that, they need to cut back significantly on what they eat. But this can have a huge impact on creating an eating disorder. Think about it. If you resolve to go on a diet and try and find ways to significantly eat less, you might think about eating a tiny breakfast, if any at all, and then try to survive on a small salad for lunch. And by the time you get home from work, you are starving. You've restricted all your calories all day and something has got to give in the end. So you start to eat something to stop the hunger. And before you know it, you can't stop. A part of you wants to eat every single calorie in sight in case the restriction starts again. After the binge eating, you feel awful, you feel disgusted with yourself, you feel like you can't control your eating and you feel down on yourself for not being able to diet. So you resolve to do a better job the next day with that dieting. And so you restrict again and the next evening the same thing happens. And all that's happened is you've entered a binge eating and dieting cycle and you can't seem to stop. So the first solution to resolving your binge eating at night is simple. Eating when you're hungry and stopping when you're full throughout the day. So if you're feeling hungry at breakfast, go and eat something until you are satisfied. Then eat again the next time you feel physically hungry. If you do that, you don't feel deprived and you don't end up binging so much in the evening. The next big problem that we tend to see is another good old one, stress. And that is another big issue for binge eating in the evening. Problems with food and stress are often linked. And you might find that your chosen method of self-soothing yourself after a busy day is by eating. Now, you aren't alone in this. Different people have different methods of coping. And some people may shop, others drink, some do exercise. But one of the most popular methods of coping is eating. And so for the period of time when you're binge eating in the evening, everything else seems to stop. 
All you're thinking about is the food. You're in your own little trance. It's a way of shutting out emotions and getting away from everything. The only problem is the strategy is flawed because once the binge is over, the stress is still there. To make matters worse, the binging itself also creates stress and that causes the problem to spiral out of control. So when you stop binge eating, your stress levels start to go through the roof as you worry about what you've done. You're self-critical of your behaviour, again you feel a failure and the more stressed you feel about the binge, the more likely you'll turn into another binge to stop the uncomfortable feelings. The solution is to manage the stress link so that you can find better ways of coping and get your stress levels down. Combine that with the stop dieting and then you start to make inroads on what's going on with your problem. Now, what do we use in order to try and uh, stop this binge stress link? Well, it's using self-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis is a cheap, easy tool, and it helps you to create feelings of relaxation and calm. Now, I give all my clients a copy of a uh, relaxation audio or our binge eating download in order to practice that stress reduction daily. And if they do that constantly, they're gonna feel calmer and more in control. It makes a world of difference to the way they binge. You can try that for yourself. We have it on the website and I've got a link uh, below so you can try and use it. At the same time, if you use our binge eating audio, it doesn't just deal with the stress aspect. It also has uh, subconscious suggestions for uh, changing your thought patterns. So you can use that to try and reprogram your mind a little bit about thinking about food in a slightly different way. Now, as well as stress and dieting, other emotions can come into play. And one of these is loneliness. They're linked. Loneliness can be psychological as well as related to physical proximity. So why does loneliness make you binge at night? Well, let's start with physical loneliness. If you lead a busy life during the day and you're working and interacting with others, your mind is occupied. You have people to talk to. But now let's imagine you come home to an empty house and you've got to spend the evening by yourself. This can trigger feelings that nobody loves you or that you're not good enough to have a partner. And when we feel anxious or depressed, it can trigger the need for comfort and the eating can you know, be a way of doing that. But loneliness can also be felt when you have a partner or when others are in the house as well. So, for example, we've had clients who've uh, had a partner who works shift patterns, which means although they have someone in their life, they're often spending large parts of their day alone. Or if you have children to look after, it can feel like the burden is falling entirely on you to look after everyone. The food becomes a way of shutting those thoughts out. You can feel lonely when your partner is in the house at the same time as you. Many of my clients tell me their marriages are, you know, they're basically leading separate lives, even though they are in the same vicinity. The partner occupies themselves in their office or watches TV in the bedroom, and the other one is left miserable downstairs. If you are not realising what the source of your binge eating is, then I suggest you start to write a little diary to see what could be your potential triggers based on what we're telling you today. If you feel lonely at night or you feel lonely when you're at home, even if you're in a partnership, then you need to address that. If you don't tackle that, the problem will persist. And while we're on the subject of negative emotions, then other issues can also cause the problem. Anxiety and depression, for example. Again, when you're occupied during the day, a lot of the time you're not paying so much attention to those problems. They're hidden a little bit in the back of your mind. At night, when you come home and you've not got quite as much to do, your mind has more time to think. Binge eating at night has a close link with anxiety and depression. When you suffer from anxiety, you're listening to your subconscious mind and its worries and fears about the bad things that could happen. Your ability to think inwardly will only increase when you've got more time to do it, which is generally in the evening. As the horrible feelings start to surface, nighttime binge eating becomes a way of suppressing those feelings. 
Likewise, depression can be created by thoughts such as a fear of failure, not feeling good enough, being unloved and much more. During the days, while those thoughts might be present, they can also be in the background. But at night, again, they come to the forefront when you have more time to think. When you feel negative feelings, you're more likely to need a coping mechanism to make yourself feel better. And binge eating is that tool for many. We have some binge eating worksheets on our website that you can use to understand how your emotions and food choices are linked. So you can try to become more consciously aware of the problems that are there. These worksheets are probably quite good tools for you to use to help you tackle the underlying problems and also to help you eat more mindfully. Binge eating disorder treatment can help you identify the specific reasons for your problem with food so that the issues with eating are at least reduced if not eradicated. When I use binge eating therapy in my course with my clients, I'm helping them to change their relationship with food and to help them gain an understanding of what is actually really going on. There's no dieting on the program or good foods or bad foods. Instead, I'm working with my clients with intuitive eating and helping them understand the difference between emotional cravings and physical ones. I look at my clients' lifestyles so that we can make positive changes to them, we reduce stress, and we delve deep into underlying emotions that are causing the problem. Binge eating therapy never just looks at the food, but your entire life, your sleep patterns, your relationships, your worries, your fears, to name just a few. It's a holistic approach for a good reason, because it needs to be. You can't just focus on dieting or just the food itself, because that is often the symptom and not the whole story. For more information about binge eating disorder and for details of our program in order to help the problem, you can head over to our website, rewirethemind.com. Um, we've run sessions and programs to help our clients worldwide on Skype, FaceTime, Facebook video messenger, and even Zoom. So you can head on over, find out more details about our program or look at some of the resources that we have to help our clients uh, make changes. If they can't do uh, therapy sessions, then we do have self-help tools that you can use. Remember the need to binge eating at night can be helped and there are solutions to change your relationship with food. You just need to reach out and start the process. <music>